Chapter 2 Farm Money When I grow up, said Sophie at breakfast time, I'm going to be a farmer. You can't, said the twins. Why not? Farmers are men, they said. Well, said Sophie, I'm going to be a lady farmer, so there. Her father looked at her over the top of his newspaper. I'm sure you are, Sophie, he said. I'm sure you could do anything you were determined to do. But you'd need an awful lot of money. Suppose you wanted to be a dairy farmer. Just think how much a big herd of cows would cost. I wouldn't have a big herd of cows, said Sophie. How many would you have, asked Mark. I just have one cow called Blossom. Well, then you wouldn't have much milk to sell, said her father. I wouldn't have any milk to sell, said Sophie. Why not? asked Matthew. I should drink it all. I like milk. She held out her glass. Can I have some more, please, Mum? she said. I don't really think, said her mother, that you could call yourself a farmer. A lady farmer, said the twins. If the only thing you had was one cow... It wouldn't be the only thing, Sophie said. I'd have two hens called April and May. Why April, said Matthew. Why May, said Mark. Because they're nice months and these would be nice hens. You wouldn't have many eggs to sell, said her father. I wouldn't have any eggs to sell, said Sophie. Because you'd eat them all, said Mark. Because you like eggs, said Matthew. I do, said Sophie. I'm very fond of eggs. She looked at the boiled egg which her mother had just put in front of her. Sophie had her own special blue egg cup with her name written on it in white letters. The egg was a big brown one. Excuse me, my dear, said Sophie, and she tapped it gently with her spoon. I don't think it hurts them, she said. Matthew and Mark looked at each other and each rolled his eyes upwards and raised his eyebrows and tapped his forehead with one finger. What other animals will you keep, said Sophie's father? A pony. What kind of pony? A Shetland pony. I like Shetland ponies. But Sophie, said her mother, don't you think a Shetland pony will be rather small for you when you're a grown-up lady farmer? I mean... Your legs will drag along the ground. I shan't ride it, said Sophie. It'll just be a pet. I shall call it Shorty. What other pets will you keep? Just a pig. Pigs aren't pets, said the twins. Measles will be. Why measles? Because you'll be a spotty pig, of course, said Sophie, looking scornfully at her brothers. You've got no imagination, you two haven't. She scraped the last bits out of her boiled egg and then turned it upside down on top of the egg cup so that it looked untouched. There you are, my dear, she said, good as new. Let me see if I've got it right, said her father. When you're a lady farmer, you're going to keep a cow and two hens and a pony and a pig, am I right? Yes, said Sophie, and I shall grow a little field of corn. What for? said Matthew and Mark. Cornflakes, of course, said Sophie. Don't they teach you anything at school? But what are you going to live on? asked her father. Milk and eggs and cornflakes. I'm very fond of all those. No, no, I mean, how are you going to manage? None of the animals, Blossom and April and May and Shorty and Measles, is going to earn you any money. And how will you afford to buy them in the first place? I shall save up. But that will take you years and years and years, said the twins. I've got years and years and years, said Sophie. And with that, she got down from the table and plodded off. She'll never get enough money to be a lady farmer, said Matthew. Will she, Dad? asked Mark. I wouldn't be too sure about that, said their father. Your sister may be small. But she is a very determined person. So nobody was very surprised next morning when Sophie came in to breakfast carrying her piggy bank and placed it on the table. 
on its side was stuck a notice which said, Farm money. Thank you, Sophie. Sophie's, Sophie's father put his hand in his pocket and took out a 20p piece and dropped it in. Her mother fetched her bag and added another. Matthew and Mark looked at each other. I've only got two peas, said Matthew. Same here, said Mark. Every little helps, said Sophie.